breaking news. Chicago Bears GM Ryan Pulse has fired head coach of the team, Matt Eberflus. Ryan Pulse has not yet released a statement on the reasoning behind the decision. The players and fans throughout the organization are in utter shock, as many believe the Bears were finally on the path to rebuilding the team into the greatness that once ruled the NFL. Of course, many questions are now surrounding the Chicago Bears as to where they go from here. With the season only being a few weeks away, the main question is, who are the Chicago Bears going to bring in? Look at me. That's right. Chicago Bears legend and NFL Hall of Famer, one of the best to ever do it at middle linebacker, Brian Erlacher, is now the head coach of the Chicago Bears. And of course, the first thing for Brian Erlacher to do is to check the talent at quarterback. Justin Fields, wide receiver number one, DJ Moore. Running back, one and two, Khalil Herbert, Dante Foreman, wide receiver number two, Darnell Mooney, and Cole Komet at tight end. The offensive line solid all around. There's definitely talent on this team, especially at the skill positions. Now, let's take a look at the defense. Okay, first off, the defensive line is absolutely abysmal. You do have some talent around the board, though. Safeties, especially Eddie Jackson, Daquan Brisker. Cornerback number one. Jalen Johnson. The linebackers are obviously exceptional. The pickup Edmonds. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not great. Let's see him in training camp on the field. Let's see what they can actually do. After finishing training camp, it seems like the reporters have a question for Brian Ehrlich. It's opening day this week and a fresh start for every team around the league. They'll be facing the Packers. What's the key to victory? And what's the goal for this season after finishing in dead last just the previous year? Brian Ehrlich states that the Bears will make the playoffs. That's what Bears fans wanted to hear. It gives them the hope they need. And ideally, we establish a rhythm on offense, dictate the flow of the game, and get a big enough lead to make their offensive one-dimensional. But now let's take a look at the pack. At quarterback, they have Petty Bridgewater and Jordan Love. It looks like Petty Bridgewater is going to be getting the start. Running back, Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon, of course. Wide receiver, they're definitely lacking talent. Christian Watson, Romeo Dubes, Jaden Reed. It's not a crazy wide receiving core, but hopefully they don't give us too many problems. Uh, tight end also. Lacking talent, David Bakhtari, Elkton Jenkins. That left side of their offensive line is no joke. Their whole offensive line is no joke. Defensive line, though. Trey Flowers, Kenny Clark, obviously a machine. Rashawn Gary, Devondre Campbell. Okay. Preston Smith, Jair Alexander. It looks like this defense is going to be the problem. That's especially where we're going to go. Our offense versus their defense. I say their offense is their weak point, our defense. So it's going to be our strong side versus their strong side. I think that's enough talking. It's time to get into the game. I'll see you when we get there. It's the NFL. And just like that, Soldier Field is packed today. Everybody's excited. A new coach, a new mentality for Chicago. They just want to win. And Brian Urlacher said the playoffs, so we are counting on that. Petty Bridgewater, the starter for the Green Bay Packers. He's coming out to lead them to victory. Now everybody's got nerves. Now it's week one with the biggest rivalry in the game. 
Teddy Bridgewater hands off it. Oh my, instantly just running. That's about a 25 yard gain from Aaron Jones. No joke. That is not the start you wanted to see for Chicago. Can they recover though? Teddy Bridgewater puts a motion, tight end in motion. Hands it off to Aaron Jones again, and Kyler Gordon standing still. Another 13-yard gain, 16-yard gain. He's already over 40 yards in the first two plays al alone. The Bears have to be able to deal with him. Adjustments are going to... And just like that, the Bears have had probably the worst start they could have asked for. That's right, an approachment. Weatherford, just like that, the Bears... Oh, are already fumbling bad. Teddy Bridgewater inside the 30 now, though. What can he do with the ball? Finds Aaron Jones, who, oh my God, absolutely slammed, and he is hurt. He is hurt. He's holding his ass, and he's limping it. He just got pounded. Packers fans are not happy to see that. The man who's already made a huge impact today. But Teddy Bridgewater... Play action over the middle and completes the pass. Looked like it could have been a broken pass, but now the Packers on the one yard line. Can the Bears bear down and get a stop? It's a handoff. AJ Dillon, he gets pushed in, pushed into the end zone, and just like that. But here we go. Justin Fields now on the field. Little Herbert stuffed the line. Don't like to see that. Hopefully this Bears offense can respond. That was a very strong display by the Packers offense. Dustin Fields play action. And there's already pressure. Dustin Fields tries to get it to someone. But just like that, Packers are making it clear that they are the favorites. Third and 11 now. Justin Fields tries to throw it, but... Pressure again, and maybe that was for the best. It looked like nobody was open. No option other than to punt it. And oh my god, a big hit on the punt. I don't know how he held on. Teddy Bridgewater walking with a stick up his ass out in the field. On, the, on their 37, Teddy Bridgewater hands off to AJ Dillon. Stop to the line. Another injury. We're only three minutes into this game, and Dylan Cole holding his wrist, it looks like. This is not good. There's been many injuries. It's week one. People aren't fully up to speed. Teddy Bridgewater on the out route. Looks like it wasn't completed. Third and ten now. The Bears have a chance to make a big stop here. They need this. The momentum is all in the favor of the Packers right now. Teddy Bridgewater... Looking, decides to take off, sheds the tackle, and gets hit stick. Absolutely tossed that linebacker like he was a little kid. That was crazy. Probably 250 pounds, and he just got tossed around. All right. First and 10 on the 49-yard line. A.J. Dillon meets the Bears. Tackle for loss of two yards. What's Teddy B going to do now? Play action. Finds A.J. Dillon, who gets pushed out of bounds at about the 48. Now obviously, Noah Sewell. Oh, let's take a look at the Bears 2023 draft class. Darnell Wright, the first pick, who they traded down. You don't get to look at it for long, but there you go. All right, the 48, third and seven. Can the Bears get a stop over the middle? And, oh, Edwards just can't get there. Unfortunate. First down for the Packers. They've already got 100 yards in the first five minutes of the game. Bears fans hate to see it. Teddy Bridgewater, A.J. Dillon up the middle. Looks like a gain of about five. The Bears are just getting torched right now. I thought the Packers offense would be the weak, the weak side, but no, it is no joke. And first down, 
the Teddy Bridgewater is giving the Chicago Bears the work right now. He is finding every single open receiver and making it look like they aren't even there. He's playing pickup. <laughs> All right. Teddy Bridgewater getting pressured. A missed tackle, but finds A.J. Dillon for a pickup of about four. They're now in the red zone. Can the Bears finally get a stop? They need it. It is not looking good. If the Packers score another touchdown, it's going to be a really bad position for Justin Fields to get as he heads back on. A good breakup, though. That's exactly what the Bears were looking for. Third and six now. It's like that Teddy Bridgewater scrambling. Can he get there? Oh, my gosh. Hit stick. Williamson recovers it, and oh, he starts taking off. Can he get? Oh, he gets stopped at the 27, but a big hit. The Bears have an opportunity. Second and 10 here. Fields takes off, and just like that, the pressure gets to him. Third and 19. Now the Bears need to make something happen. Something happened. This is horrible. Third and long, third and 19. Fields goes up to DJ Moore, and he brings it in. The toe tap, you love to see it. That is what the Bears needed. That is what the Bears need. All right, third and three here. Bears on the opposing 49-yard line. Fields finds Khalil Herbert, but he just drops the ball. That was a guaranteed first down. Oh, but it looks like the Bears are going to step back on the field here and going to go for it on fourth down. Justin Fields looking around. Nicole Komet, who fights for the first down. Absolutely great work. Risky play call by Brian Urlacher, but shows he's here to not mess around. First and 10 on the opposing 44 now. Fields, play action. Takes off. Tries to outrun the linebacker. Gets stopped after a gain of about seven yards. Second and third now. Fields finds Kilo Herbert, who actually catches it this time. A great pickup. Now the Bears are just outside of the red zone. Can they make something finally happen? Six minutes left in the second quarter. He throws it up, Justin Fields, poor accuracy. Darnell Savage, I believe that was. Reads it like a book, just like that. All the momentum back in the favor of the Packers. And Teddy Bridgewater, hands off to AJ Dillon. Another injury, David Bakhtari, the Packers hate to see that. Aaron Jones and David Bakhtari, two of their stars in their offense. Ooh, hate to see that. But A.J. Dillon, at, oh my, just throws, throws a defensive lineman down. Just absolutely shameful right now, the Bears are looking. Getting torched by the back. Just like that first down, Teddy Bridgewater absolutely torching the Chicago Bears defense. First and 10 on their own 33. Hands off to A.J. Dillon, who breaks two tackles, but the third one is finally enough to bring him down. That guy is ugh, nothing to mess with. The Packers' run game is very strong so far in this game, and they're clearly showing it. Hand off again to A.J. Dillon. Oh, almost broke free, but... Oh, is he hurt? I, he's holding what looks to be like a stomach, but... No, he's not hurt. Packers fans are very happy about that. Third and seven, though. Can the Bears finally make a stop? Thrown over the middle, and... Again, Teddy Bridgewater is just finding everything. Every little check down, every single thing that's a little open, he'll get it there. First and 10 now. 
on the 47 of the opposing team. Us. Can the Packers score? Out route. Oh, an easy gain after a missed tackle. Now in the 27. A few yards away from the red zone. The Packers are causing problems. Can the Bears make a stop? They need it. All the momentum is in favor of the Packers. And if they can make a stop here and score, they might actually have a pretty good chance because they get the ball starting the second half. A little bit of a run. Gain of five yards. Second and five. Teddy Bridgewater. Looks like he's calling some audibles. Drops back. Looking around. Over the middle. A breakup, though. Third and five. The Bears need this stop. A field goal's not the worst thing, considering how much they have dominated this game so far. Bridgewater calling some audibles. Looking. Scrambles. Missed tackle. Pleated pass and just can't get to the line. A great stop. Bear down. Fourth and three now as the two-minute warning hits. The Bears are going to have an opportunity. Come down the field and score. Possibly take the lead if they can do it again. After receiving. I think he's good. Just like that, the Packers are up 10 now. Dante Pettis back to the takes it out. Gets stopped at the 20. A bad decision to take it out, but field back onto the field. Finally looking to make something happen. They were so close last time, but a poor pass. Ruined all the momentum they had. Fields finds Darnell Mooney for a pickup of about eight yards. Not a bad find. They're going to need a lot more of that, and they're going to need it in the next two minutes. It is a two-minute drill. The routine. Come on, Fields. Hands off to Herbert, who waits for his block patiently and picks up the first down. Fields on his own 32. Play action. Rolls out. He takes off. Pick up about 13, and he runs out of bounds to stop the clock. A minute and 21 remain. About midfield here. Dustin Fields decides to take off again, but Kenny Clark stops him on a diving tackle. No huddle, though. The Bears are trying to run something quick, and they need to. Only 50 seconds remains, although they have all timeouts. Fields. Tries to take off again. He gets sat down. A timeout from the Bears. Much needed. They need to regroup and organize something because they aren't out of field goal range. They are pretty close. They just need to get a few more yards. Fields looking around. He rolls out. Decides to take off. Can he get there? And he does. He gets the first down. Bears need about seven more yards and they're in field goal range. Second and ten here. Finds Khalil Herbert, who gets a pickup of about, about nine. Third and one. You don't like to see that. You don't like to see that. A good pickup, but you wish you get the first down. Third and one on 34. Tries to hit DJ Moore. Just a miss. A perfect accuracy, but out of reach. That's interesting. interesting. Perfect accuracy, out of reach. Fourth and one now. The Bears opt to go for it. A handoff up the middle. Dante Foreman. And the Packers just swarm him. He did not get there. Just like that. The Packers take the ball. And the Bears are regretting not taking their three. Teddy Bridgewater rolls out. A little... Tackle, a little gain of three. They don't call a timeout, so you just got to assume that's the uh, end of the half. And it is. Third quarter. Second and nine for the Bears now. It's Darnell Mooney for a pick of about 13 yards. First down. About the 40-yard line. 
Bears need to score here. They really do. They look poor this game. They can't put points on. They've had two opportunities. And they just haven't got any points. But Fields rolls out. Throws it deep. He's open. But under pressure, out of reach. You can't afford to miss that in a game like this. When all the momentum's on the other team, you need to complete that pass. Second and 10, though, Fields. A missed pass again. Third and 10 now. The Bears are looking horrible on this debut. DJ Moore has been not around. You just haven't seen him on the field. An open. Oh, a great stop there. He looked, looked open for a touchdown. Kenny Clark. Let's watch that again. Yeah. Shreds through a block of two. Kenny Clark. Beast. Teddy Bridgewater now. Looking around. Decides to take off. Edwards misses. But oh my god. The Bears are laying the boom today. Making Teddy Bridgewater regret running. But he gets up like it didn't do anything. He's fine. The baby hit. He eats them. Oh, Aaron Jones is back in the field after breaking two or three tackles. A gain of about 14. Packers fans are happy to see him, but I am not. Aaron Jones again. Pick up about three. Now at the 36. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit of fighting going on, but nothing serious. All right, Teddy Bridgewater. A.J. Dillon's back on. Second and seven. Teddy over the middle. Little possession catch. Bears need to get a stop here. The last thing they can afford to do is give it the touchdown. Teddy Bridgewater to Aaron Jones. A good stop. 36 yards out. It's going to be a 53-yard field goal. Packers are going to try it. Can the Bears block it? They need this. The Packers. It is good. 13-0 now. In favor of the Packers. All right. Justin Fields needs to make something happen. Bears are regretting everything. Khalil Herbert. Gain of one. Not what you wanted to see. This is a gain. That's a positive. <laughs> but really need to make some big plays happen here. All the momentum in favor of Packers. Second and nine now. Fields throws it over the middle. And oh my god. It is intercepted. Eric Stokes just reads it and jumps the pass. Teddy Bridgewater back on the field now. Inside the 35. You just can't make that happen. Justin Fields is absolutely looking horrible today. And uh, oh my god. This is like the Saints-Vikings game. You got guys tackling their own players. Jaden Reed touchdown. A 35-yard pass. Oh my god. The Bears are now down. Basically three touchdowns. If they can get this two-point. And... He does. Do not worry. Justin Fields walking out with a stick of his ass. Do not worry. But we're just hoping he can finally make something happen. Hand off to Lil Herbert. Little gain of about five. You just really want to see the Bears put something together. They need some life. This is looking poor. I think they've got like 100 yards total. Passing yards 65 from the Bears. Fields, opts to roll out, takes off, gets a gain of about 12, I want to say. Now at the 39-yard line. First and 10 here, Fields. Looks over the middle, Cole Komet, catches it, he's carrying him. Okay, that is what the Bears needed. That is what the Bears needed. Inside the 33, but this time they've got to score. They've had this same opportunity two times, and they've messed it up both. Out to Darnell Mooney. 
Another injury. Cody Whitehair holding his hip or back. Now he's holding his wrist. All right. Field second and seven. Herbert waits for his block. He's running, can it? Oh, just out at the one. All right, the Bears have an opportunity here. Please. Fields hands off to Herbert up the middle. Touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, and good news follows. Cody Whitehair is going to be able to return. Just a low risk. Nothing serious. The Bears showed some life. That's exactly what you wanted to see. Now they're going to need to make a stop. First and 10. Teddy Bridgewater. Hands off to Aaron Jones. He picks up about three yards. Teddy Bridgewater. Out route. Oh my. Tyler Gordon makes a good hit to break up the pass. Third and seven now. Bears have an opportunity to make something really big happen. They need a stop. Eddie Bridgewater, a screen, Aaron Jones, a missed tackle and a juke, a first down. Two Bears had an opportunity to get the stop and they both missed. Now we're heading into the fourth quarter. Packers have the ball up 14 on their 37. Bears fans are hoping for a stop. They want to beat their rivals week one. Of course they do. Bridgewater out to Aaron Jones, who decides to run back inside for a loss of four yards. All right, Bridgewater, second and 14. I think 33 now. Throws it. An incompletion. Third and 14. The Bears need to stop here. Third and long. You cannot afford to give this up. This is an opportunity that you have to complete. You have to get the stop. If the Packers get this first down, consider the game over. Another screen. Aaron Jones. Ooh, brought down this time. Fourth and four. And it looks like the Packers opt in to punt it away. Fields walking back on. Chicago has an opportunity to make something big happen. But they need to score, and they need to score quick. Fields rolls out. Decides to take off. First down and a little more, about 15 yards. Not bad. Bills has definitely been working on the on the running game. It looks good. Looks good. Six rushes, 61 yards. It's about the only thing that's worked out for them so far today on offense. Running game, second and nine now. A little pick of a one, but man. Bears have not looked good on offense. I thought it'd be the strength, but it is far from filled. Runs up the middle. About 15, 16 yards. Hell yeah. That is what you like to see. Fields taking off. You can't throw the ball. You might as well run. And oh my god. Kenny Clark. Yeah. Three blockers. Sheds the first one in half a second, and the other two decide not to even try. <laughs> Great stuff. But here we go. Second and 19, Fields. Please. Bears fans need this. Fields throws it. Chase Claypool over the top. He catches it, and just like that, touch through. Hell yeah, Fields. That is what we needed. That's what we needed. And the Bears have an opportunity to make a big stop here. And that gives them an opportunity to win the game. But let's get that stop first. Aaron Jones over the middle. Pick up about three. Bears have the momentum. A little bit of celebration right in somebody's face. Teddy Bridgewater looked phenomenal this game. Drops back, a little screen. Aaron Jones. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
a pancake followed by a hit stick. Jesus, how is Aaron Jones not hurt again? That was a bone crusher. Teddy Bridgewater play action. A little toss, pick up six yards. Man, Bridgewater's exceptional. Only five missed passes all game. Going for about 200 yards. Aaron Jones, pick up, first down. First and 10 now. On their 47. Bear down. Let's get a stop. They're killing clock. Play action. Oh my god. Bridgewater on the run after rolling out to read. Take him up about 20. All right, here we go. They're in field goal range, but all right, two minute warning. The Bears you gotta get a sack, some tackle for losses. They're in field goal range. You need to push them back to the 40 to even have a chance. You have all your timeouts as well. Come on, handoff, a missed tackle. Aaron Jones shrugs one. Now inside the 10. You gotta. Looks like Brian Urlacher's making some adjustments. Putting on aggressive hits, aggressive strip balling. You need to strip the ball. You need to get the ball. You can't let them score here. The game's over if you do. Clock is ticking. Teddy Bridgewater hands off to Aaron Jones, who gets crushed. Timeout Bears. Aaron Jones is taking some hits today. The old Packers have really. Come on, Bears. Force a fumble. Let's go. Bridgewater. Reed. Miss tackle. Touchdown. And Teddy Bridgewater's humping the Soldier Field. End zone. Just like that. There's a little opportunity. They do have two timeouts. If you need an onside. I wouldn't count on it, but Fields is walking back on. Yeah, at least want to score. Wouldn't hurt to buff the stats a little bit. A little screen pass. Nope. He gets stuck on the lineman and sacked by Kenny Clark. Fields. Here we go. Second and 19. Tries to run. Can't. Nobody gets open, and it's now third and 27. All the hope is just fading away now. Fields, third and 27, throws it up. Oh, and he misses him. That's the second deep ball for DJ Moore that's missed, and he's talking shit to someone. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Fourth and 27, you just got to heave it, Gray. Thrown up. And it's broken up just like that. You gotta assume. Yeah, victory formation. Game over. Bears did not look good today. Definitely not against the Packers team who looked like an easy win. Matt LeFleur, absolutely celebrating. Let's take a look at the stats. Teddy Bridgewater. 192 yards, one touchdown. Justin Fields, 47.9 rating. Aaron Jones, 90 yards. Willow Herbert, 48. 106 yards for Reed. None of the Bears receivers really had anything. Chase Claypool had one reception for a touchdown. Let's check the blocking. Four sacks allowed, all by Bears. TJ Edwards, 10 total tackles. Well, when you're on the field that much, of course you're going to make that. Not great. You hope to see better. Buccaneers next week. Bears have to look better.